What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you guys can probably tell, I will take you guys through my day today. A lot of you ask on social media that you guys wanted to see that, um, what I do throughout the day, what I eat, um, what practice looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's about 6.45 right now. I'm still pretty tired, but yeah, we're gonna get ready for practice now. Because of the current situation, we're only allowed to train in small groups. I think next week when we get COVID tested and cleared, um, we'll return back to full contact practice and then we're gonna start training at 9 again. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready now, um, grab a snack and then head over to practice. So first thing in the morning I usually eat like a snack, like a banana or a granola bar or even just some plain oatmeal um, to get some food in the system. Um, always going to have your water, um, yeah I would recommend um, at least eating like a little snack before practice because you need that energy, that sharpness before practice or in practice um, because you're going to burn um, a lot of energy. Um, I would not recommend going into practice on an, on an empty stomach. I'm gonna wait now until my teammates are ready and then we're gonna head off to practice. at the apartment um, was a really good training session um, unfortunately the camera stopped recording at the end of the finishing drill so I couldn't get the last part of it but I thought I got, got some um, pretty good um, footage at the end we just did some stretching and a little cool down and then um, yeah obviously got back to the apartment um, yeah we have our stuff here 
I'm gonna make a protein shake now, um, or I always use this vegan protein powder from Ghost. Um, I think it's really important to get some protein in the in the system after a training session because you do a lot of cardio, a lot of running, so you will lose muscle if you don't um, take enough protein after a session. But yeah, I'm gonna get um, yeah ready now, jump in the shower, get dressed, and then um, get some lunch. I can also show you guys the apartment real quick if you're interested in that. Um, so we have a living room here. We're gonna get furniture tomorrow. Then my room, we have a little desk here where I do like all the schoolwork and cutting and stuff. But a little table, closet, um, shower, and then yeah, bathroom, nothing special. It's about 12.30 right now. We just picked up our lunch. Um, because of the current situation, we can't eat at the clubhouse. Um, where the uh, club usually provides us food with so we just pick it up and bring it to the apartment and I'm gonna show you guys what I got um, I got some fruit um, some scrambled eggs a um, little bit of avocado toast a um, little bit of um, oatmeal and some granola and walnuts for the oatmeal you should have your first big meal cover all the important uh, nutritions like fats carbohydrates and protein and um, yeah I'm gonna eat that now and then in about two hours I have a call for um, my school um, and I'm gonna jump on that <clears throat> alright guys just uh, got done eating and um, yeah put some clothes in the washer so they're ready for tomorrow's practice I mean obviously we're really lucky here that we get cooked for and um, get the meals provided but you know normally on a regular basis when um, we're at when we're in college like we have to cook for ourselves and that's one of the most important aspects of being a professional athlete like there's no other way around like you have to get the knowledge in to um, make sure what's the right thing to put in your body you know what do you need after a heavy session what do you need after a light session um, yeah that's really really important becoming a professional athlete but yeah I'm just gonna chill now for a little bit and then um, jump on the meeting as I said earlier um, which is at 2 and yeah that's about it Bernie are you on the call yet? pages to get through. So why don't we do this? Um, let's skip over item number one, which is the overview of the conference communications area. So for this afternoon, I decided to uh, yeah come out to the field again and get some touches in. It really depends um, yeah, how hard the session was in the morning. If it was intense, then yeah, in the afternoon, I might just chill, um, work on my own brand or cutting videos, editing videos. Um, if you have a lighter session in the morning, then I like to come out and do a second workout. Either gonna get some strength training in, um, yeah, a little workout, or even get on the field to get some touches in, or even just some recording, some stuff for you guys. Um, yeah, it really depends, but that's how usually my afternoon goes. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump into the session and um, finish in about yeah half an hour to an hour, uh, nothing too crazy, and then um, just go home and get some dinner. Alright guys, I uh, just got back from the field, uh, it was a pretty good session, um, just did some passing, uh, some small drills, uh, really good for footwork. It's about 7.30 right now, I just showered um, and got ready, also picked up food. Um, tonight we're having some pasta, Brussels sprouts, with some bread, a salad and a soup. So yeah, we're gonna finish that now and that's basically it for the day. 
I forgot to mention that in the afternoon, usually around three or four, uh, I get pretty hungry, so I have another snack, like some yogurt with fruit, gr uh, oatmeal, um, granola, something like that, something light. Um, and yeah, then in the evening, that meal, that's usually what I eat throughout the day. Um, yeah, at least three, three meals and a snack. I think that's really important when you're in practice. So I'm just gonna finish the food now and then yeah, chill for the rest of the night. Um, that's basically all I'm doing throughout the day. Um, the last part <clears throat> is foam rolling and stretching, which I usually do right before going to bed because yeah, it just helps me in the morning getting out of bed, yeah, feeling more loose because also practice is pretty early and um, yeah, it helps getting into practice too. That's basically it. Um, that's all I'm doing throughout the day or most of the days. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed getting a little insight on what I do throughout the day. If you did, please uh, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos. Um, yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.